Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Stanley Cup champs run into Ivanka Trump in D.C. Cameras caught what the players began chanting at her. While having a date night at Cafe Milano in Georgetown, first daughter Ivanka Trump and her husband, White House adviser Jared Kushner, ran into the Washington Capitals at a D.C. hotspot Saturday night. As reported by 100% Fed Up, the team was at the restaurant on a what we can refer to as an unofficial victory tour as amused diners filmed them using their trophy as a giant champagne goblet and leading a rendition of We Are the Champions. After they all introduced themselves to the White House power couple, the first time NHL champs invited Jared and Ivanka to a private dining room at the restaurant and the group took pictures. Capitals captain Alex Ovechkin posed front and center with the cup as he stood next to a smiling Ivanka while she was surrounded by the rest of the players. After the pictures were taken all the players in attendance started chanting, Trump, Trump, Trump. Of course, social media keyboard commandos became unhinged because of this display. To the point of replying with comments like, don't let her touch it, you and burn the cup it's tainted forever. How great is it to see the support president has within the capitals? Especially when in a time when we have NBA players like LeBron James, who was just swept by the Warriors in the NBA championships saying that whatever team wins they won't be going to the White House because President Trump doesn't believe what we believe. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Here is more on the LeBron James saga via USA Today. Cleveland Cavaliers forward LeBron James said in a video posted Thursday that President Trump doesn't give a, expletive, about the people. James, who previously referred to Trump as a bum on Twitter, made the comments in a video piece that was shot last month for Uninterrupted, a multimedia platform that he co-founded. In the piece, the four-time NBA MVP and Golden State Warriors star Kevin Durant were asked by ESPN's Kerry Champion about political division in the United States and the climate that athletes face when trying to speak out. Well, the climate is hot, James said. The number one job in America, the appointed person, is someone who doesn't understand the people. And really don't give a, expletive, about the people. James explained that, as a child, there were three high-profile people from whom he sought inspiration, the best athlete, the greatest musician and the president. You never thought you could be them, but you can grab inspiration from them, James continued. I never felt I could be the president of the United States but I grabbed inspiration from that. And this time right now, with the President of the United States, it's at a bad time. And while we cannot change what comes out of that man's mouth, we can continue to alert the people that watch us, that listen to us, that, this is not the way. The 33-year-old James, who is among the most recognizable athletes in the United States, has not been shy about criticizing Trump since he took office last year. In the wake of violent protests in Charlottesville, Virginia, in August, James referred to Trump as the so-called president and the need to unify as a country without him. One month later, at Cleveland's Media Day, he spoke at length about his frustration with Trump's rhetoric and referred to the president as that guy. Then, during a December game in Washington, he wore one white shoe and one black shoe with the word equality on the heel. Obviously, we know where we're right now. We know who's at the helm, James said when asked about the shoes. James who supported Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton in the 2016 presidential election, has been one of several prominent NBA figures to denounce Trump over the past year. Steve Kerr of the Warriors, Greg Popovich of the San Antonio Spurs and Stan Van Gundy of the Detroit Pistons have been among the most vocal coaches with their criticism, in addition to several players. Durant, for example, said he would not visit the White House after the Warriors won the NBA title because I don't respect who's in office right now. Teammate Stephen Curry also later said he wouldn't go, and Trump responded by uninviting the team. When we're talking about leadership, and what's going on in our country, it's all about leadership. And I learned that playing basketball, Durant said in the uninterrupted piece. I learned a lot of life skills from playing basketball. You need to empower people, you need to encourage people. And that's what builds a great team. And I feel like our team, as a country, is not ran by a great coach. Added James. It's not even a surprise when he says something. It's like laughable. It's laughable and it's scary. Although the Caps have yet to be formally invited to the White House, and one player, Devontae smith pelly already said he wouldn't go, the group told Jared and Ivanka that they looked forward to seeing them at the White House. The couple then thanked the team and their hospitality by buying all the patrons at the restaurant a shot of tequila patron. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe.
Thank you.